What do you think about holding a carpet python? Then it will bite me. Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Uh, I'm not still a big girl yet. She's not a big girl yet, but she's still okay at the size she's at, I think. And the size she's at is the size of people that I'd like to talk about in today's video. And I'm turning 10 tomorrow. You turn 10 tomorrow? Uh-huh. You sure about that? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that you aren't turning anything tomorrow other than a day older, and it's definitely not gonna be 10 at your next birthday. Are you sure? I'm To be fair, it is her birthday pretty soon, so she's not far off. After Noah's birthday. You and Noah actually have the same birthday. Like mom told us when we were driving with you. Let me wipe your face off, T. You got some stuff. The big push that's been happening for US Arc these past couple weeks, which is phenomenal and fantastic, I wanted to touch on a subject that is equally as important, and that's turning on the younger generation to all these awesome animals that we're about to show you today and how important that is because these guys are the future. These guys are going to be lawyers and, and politicians uh, and to let them know what these animals are about is, is very important. Let's, let's get an animal. What, what, what's next? What do you want to check out right now, T? Uh, get your finger out your nose, dinghy. Black one? Yeah. Because they're so cute. <laughs> like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Hold on to some cocoa blocks. Busted my monopod in that last shot. It happens, wear and tear. This thing's lasted for years, actually. I think just a little, little small piece will fix it. But after we're done here, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you guys can do to help ensure that this continues. This snake is holding on to me, so it'll be safe. <laughs> yep, that's exactly why she's holding on to you, so that it'll be safe. She, he. Now, come on, yes. I'm going to hold the snakey. <laughs> wow, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's so heavy. She's heavy. <laughs> you got her? Make sure you got her. Yeah, big, put big arms. Big arms under. All the way arms. There you go. snake for you, T? Yeah. It was, because I was thinking about moving to a bigger snakey from here. What do you think about that? Uh, that's cool, but I'm going to need a different snake. She's going to need a different snake. Do you want to see anything besides snakes? No, big snake, because I'm not a big girl yet. All right, so I know it's been very difficult to get out and do things this past year. At least it has been for us. Our educational shows have been shut down what seems to be indefinitely. Unfortunately, our first show back got canceled because of rain and that was kind of gonna be the, I can't believe it was rain that canceled, but it was, because it was gonna be outdoors because of, you know, COVID. <sighs> However, any opportunity you have to let a hit kid hold a reptile of any kind, jump on that opportunity. It's probably the most important thing, even more important 
than supporting the U.S. ARC. There, I said it. Now we can get the right one. So that snake's going to be giving us some eggs soon. Mm-hmm. What do you think about holding a carpet python? Then it will bite me. No, no, we're not going to let it bite you. I got you all cleaned up. You don't smell like chickens. You don't smell like anything. I've worked with this snake for a long time. The great thing is this snake will hold on to you pretty well, I think. You want to try it out? Uh, well, I want a different snake. Scrub python? Sure, because it's so nice. <laughs> okay, so this isn't just any scrub python. Experienced people are probably like, scrub python over a carpet python? You out of your mind? This isn't any scrub python. We work with this girl a lot. She's actually, fly. She's actually more docile than our carpet python, believe it or not. I believe her. Oh, that's all it takes. A little bit of trust. Sure, we like daddy. That's right. Ready? Uh -huh. I'm going I'm to do it like this, okay? Uh -huh. Watch this one, just one slowly. Perfect, okay, stop right there. I don't know about you, but for me, to see her hanging out with this scrub python like this is absolutely phenomenal. If you know her history with snakes, she is just a champion. She's a, she's a, oh, I'm proud of you, T. You are a champion. <laughs> hey, T, what do you know? Uh, I know about snakes. What about snakes? This one called, I don't know her. That's Annie. I know about Annie. What about Annie? That she's so beautiful. Don't grab her head, Dingy. Do you want to make a, a mistake? <laughs> Getting a little, uh, <laughs> what was that? And Junior was making a mistake. Ah, uh, yes, Junior made a mistake. That's right. When she bit me. Yeah, he did make a mistake. He, he thought you were chicken. That's right. Oh! <laughs> You're doing so good, T. I'm so proud. Now, of course, proper supervision. <laughs> and one thing I like to recommend too, is on a side note, is that if you're having a snake around your shoulders, to just not let it close all the way around your, your neck, because it doesn't take much for your 
carotid artery, artery you get cut off and for you to, you to pass out real quick. So like, I like to say over like, over like one shoulder is a good way or yeah, yeah. If you even, even going all the way across the back of the neck, you're starting to introduce the ability and just pay real close attention. It's okay if it's all the way across the back of the neck, but I, I just still recommend going under one armpit with the other part of the snake um, just to be 100% safe. <laughs> she holds on good, huh? Oh, gent gentle, please. Thank you. Now, could we check out her? What? Now, could we check out her? Halo. Oh, you want to check out Halo? Come on, Halo. It's working. Come on. That's a good snake right there, uh, Halo. I promise Hillary uh, and everybody that no big snakes, you know, too close to her. So I keep the head over here, let T handle that part. <laughs> Are you strong, T? Uh -huh. the idea of having the head of the snake way up here when you've got a little kid like that so even though I a hundred percent trust Halo just you know playing it safe playing it safe